Hey everybody, I am looking at Runtastic again. Remember the other day I mentioned that um, uh, the Runtastic uh, da dashboard on uh, PC and the website was somewhat lacking in features and, and uh, here it is. Uh, again, there's really not a lot here. But, uh, let's see, do, 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 do. activity import, there we go. I can uh, choose the file and uh, oh <laughs> well that's slightly less convenient I tell you so it's expecting a GPX or TCX I don't know if I can import a dot .fit, so let's try one. Let's do the first one to the left here because that way I'll remember it, and maybe you can't see that, and that's okay. And no. So it has to be, I think, let's see if it works. It says it did. So that's kind of funny. That would be kind of funny if it would, if it uh, says it does not accept dot .fits, but it does. Okay. Anyway, what happens is is that I've read I've run on Zwift a couple times, and it's imported nicely. In fact, let me switch to. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. There is my Runtastic on my iPad. So that's what it looks like, and uh, that's what it looks like. So. If I go to my iPad, which is on the other side here, um, even though it looks like it's over here to you, it's over here to me. So sorry for looking the wrong directions here. Anyway, so we scroll through and we can see my Zwift running, virtual running, uh, Mockery Islands, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, and of course there's an ad for premium, and uh, there's the Runtastic blog in case I want to read some articles, and another virtual running, and... Uh, Strength training, so it will import from my Wahoo Fitness into the strength training, and that's okay. And there's cycling, which I, I did a little bit of cycling at Sundance Resort the other day, which was kind of just a little bit, you know, not a lot. Um, so I was riding around the parking lot, really. And there's something where it got totally lost and confused, has no idea what I'm doing. And another virtual run on Zwift. So anyway, let's... um reload this and see if these runs okay it does not appear so let's go to my progress and here's my runs we reload it and no those dot fits did not work so now I have to figure out how to get a GPX. Who has GPX? Aha! It might be... It might be that Strava has GPX. So, let's find just me. Sorry people who... There we go. Aha! Another lunchy 12 3 30. Let's go check this out. See if I can get a GPX out of it. Download a GPX. It's downloading. And now we go back to Runtastic and we choose a file, which is a GPX. And we upload it. Okay. Now, let's reload this. And I think it's broken. I'm not if you can, if you can see this, but it says I did 14 miles in 30 minutes, which is a heck of a run. 
<laughs> anyway, this was an import from RunKlein into Strava. And if you uh, go into the Strava, and we will see that it thinks it was 1.68 miles that I did in 31 and 55. Where the heck did it get that uh, 33.18 and 14.81 miles? Mm. Yeah. Not now. Obviously not. 26.7 miles an hour. Dude, I'm Usain Bolt. Like, but for, like, a half marathon distance. Okay. How do I delete this thing? Because <laughs> this should not be here. Uh, delete. Delete the activity. Yes. Okay. Well, so far runtastic, you're not impressing me. Who else might be able to give me a GPX? Files. Dot fit dot gz. Yeah. Alright, well, let's try uh, map my run. What kind of an import can I do from you? And obviously, this all came from, you know, the same run client file. So I can't import it from run client. Download as TCX. Yes, TCX. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you were watching. Sorry about that. So in uh, the files here are a dot fit. So that's not going to work from Training Peaks. And when I went to map my run, it offered the option of download as TCX, which I did. So, sorry about my enthusiastic chattering there in the middle of stuff. Now, let's see if I can choose my file. The TCX. Upload. How come I'm not like feeling really super encouraged and stuff? So let's try it. Let's reload. <gasps> Okay, that worked. So, <laughs> I had to manually import it from RunCline to map my run. And then I had to download the resulting TCX into, and then upload it into Runtastic. All right, so now, Let's get rid of this for a second, and let's try this again with the next one. Uh, map my run. Okay, go. Oops. Wow, that's kind of cool. So it opens it in a new window. So my other one, 1.67 mile run from yesterday, which I did at work on the treadmill there, so I can't use Swift, and I used my iPad with RunCline, and download the TCX. And then we go to Runtastic and choose File and the newest TCX and upload and go to Runtastic and there it is. So there's 1.69 and 1.67. These are the two runs that I did on the treadmill at work uh, using RunCline to record it on my iPad and then uploaded to map my run manually as well as like everybody manually. Part of that is because I don't have everything all like uber syncing because then everything syncs to each other. So if you have something that syncs from say um, say from Sunto and Sunto sends its stuff out because I have a Sunto watch Suto 9 barrel, which couldn't get a GPS signal the other day. That was that 
strange almost run thing that I couldn't sort out with no GPS. Okay, so from that, um, I didn't say I would export to Strava and Training Peaks and um, Map My Run. And uh, I think it even, yeah, syncs to Runtastic because that's that. Now, if we had set so that Training Peaks sync to Runtastic and Training Peaks sync to Map My Run, then it would go ping, 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 and it had to run five times everywhere. I did that with Garmin by mistake, and it was very, very sad. It would, I'd rather spend the three or four minutes after my run syncing everything from run Klein manually. And it's not that horrible. And I think I've showed you how to do that before, but if you need uh, a primer on that, let me know, and I will put it up. Anyway, so there's my path. From run Klein to map my run, download the TCX, and then upload it to Runtastic. <laughs> All right. Now you know.